Good morning, good morning. Welcome to the breakfast show with VSA 360 and this is Martin here from Trade VSA. I did hope that uh, last night some of you who came and uh, caught me up with the webinar that I did with Rakuten Trade. This is one of those uh, collaboration where we want to educate the public about the uh, uh, cross-border opportunities and I do know Many of you are still in the local KLC market, but do take note, like we see right now, which I did update on our Telegram uh, podcast. If you're not, do join our Telegram podcast. Uh, the consideration of the NASDAQ market uh, uh, in, uh, influenced by the interest rate and as much as what we heard about the Silicon Valley uh, collapse in here and also the Credit Suisse, all this is really putting a pressure on the market. But again, if you stay on, I'm going to be explaining some of these issues that we are seeing. And we might see what the topic this morning is, the live IP, a recovery on the KLCI. Coming soon, yeah, coming soon. So we just have to be patient with it. So let's get on to what we have for you this morning in here. And this morning, I think all of us want to know when is the KLCI recovery. Coming or not, Martin, huh? Datang da, right? I think that's always been that question in here. We have this market falling below 1400. And of course, many of you who are using the VSA 360 Pentagon Guider would have known at least waited until you see a red Pentagon, right? Would have cost, uh, you know, avoided some of the big calamity, you know, holding your stocks in here. I think that's one of the key success to Pentagon Guider in here. As we continue to back test and back test, many of our past approaches and that's why you know we are pretty confident we don't get it right all the time but we are able to at least give you some sort of a direction where the market is and right now with the vsa 360 which we've been promoting with the insider buying and selling and of course we'll also be looking at some of this example uh, a couple of things and also look at some of the things that we did last week and i've been out last monday for the breakfast show because i caught a virus in here but uh, I'm much better now so you can hear my voice are good and thank you for those of you support and your well wishes uh, for your fans in here you know I got to recover get better and give you more updates and educational for our member and our audience out there in here now of course VSA 360 if you're in experience check out our 10 day free trial and where you can find out more about how you can benefit the, our trade VSA with the intraday alert in here now, of course, let's look at the VSA 360 this morning, uh, what we have for you, and uh, this is where we are. So I was kind of looking into the market, and one of the reasons I really find out why our market is, is uh, really falling previously, and of course, this morning, it did recover in here. Uh, Dow Jones is still red Pentagon, but US Nasdaq has turned green. So all four big regions here are still here. So if you look in our market, which I will talk about the KLCI, and uh, of course, First thing we always want to check out is the foreign funds flows. So on top of me here, you can see uh, uh, right on just above my head here, we got one of the biggest uh, fallout, which is here. You can see minus uh, 250 million in here. So we have a big string of uh, foreign funds flowing out, right? And this is also due to the SVB uh, bank collapse. So many of the banks are really taking a uh, uh, beating. And if you are big, on the banking stocks, this is definitely uh, one stock you can uh, collect them. Those uh, good blue chip banking stocks that play dividend, and you know all of them, right? So I don't have to argue. You can check out the VSA 360 or use the Smart Roby to find out which one suits you well. And that's why Smart Roby are uh, doing what it does as a small market assistant in here, right? And the uh, word we want to use is co assist you, right? You still need to make the decision, right? So here you can see the KLCI continue to fall. And, and usually when they have a whole big uh, series of buying. So the question is, when are the foreign funds coming back in here? So we, we really don't know, right? Uh, definitely this is going to a lot depend on what I've just said morning on the Telegram podcast is the continuation of the federal uh, US Fed chairman statements is saying that, you know, where is this all going to be leading to? <coughs> of course, right now, healthcare is bouncing back. Uh, I think some of you may pick it up early on. Some of the members are, were asking about, hey, uh, Top Glove, Kosan, Bole Belita, because all some of those are actually turning green Pentagon in here. So you can actually pick it up. Uh, the others, you can see here, technology is, it's, uh, you know, uh, did, it, did it get better? Okay, we'll just, <coughs> excuse me, we just look at the, so everything this morning is green now. Okay, let's take a look at the KL sector in here and you can check out, uh, many of these are red only 
<laughs> KL Healthcare has turned green Pentagon. And that's that's where we are. And this is also part of the statement that uh, uh, Top Glove released that uh, they have to raise the ASP as cost has gone up. They cannot be continuing to absorb it. And that's why we see this huge line change in here. Uh, it, but there is still a lot of resistance you can see from here. Every time when we have this green Pentagon, uh, many occasions are uh, going back to far back of October, we have this continue just five day and then sell off. So <laughs> do you see a trend there? So which means if this green Pentagon and we have VSA 360, yeah, we really recommend it. You want to be looking that it can continue more than five days. If it can continue more than five days, and that's going to be positive in here, right? So maybe just wait for five more days, wait for a good VSA uh, setup, and then you want to be taking in there, all right? So this is something that uh, will be good for our members in here, all right? And uh, so far so, if you look at the KLCI seasonal return, still negative. Right, uh, it hasn't been that great. So that's why the last night talk that I did with Rakuten Trade, I told some of our members in here, this is some of you who have a little bit spare of funds, do look into the US market. Nasdaq, Microsoft, those stocks are really moving up in here. And you can see, wouldn't be surprised, you can see right now is minus 7%. We will track back to a smaller number in here, but the US market, I do think that that's going to, so you can look into the Nasdaq in here, and uh, you can check out, let me just share with you in here, this is really one of the things that we have bringing you up. All right, and uh, just getting the data back in. So this is the, yep, and you can see NASDAQ, it's about, Apple is up 18% in here. And if you just use uh, the ETF, okay, so you use ETF and you can look at some of these iShare 50 in here. And that's where you can actually gauge the technology okay so when I do just do that technology and you can see the uh, the oh okay one of the things that we can do is XLT uh, okay XLK okay XLK is actually listed in the uh, okay we can look at the semiconductors in here right and you click submit and then you can definitely see the kind of return which is very consistent the longer term that gives you a much better perspective of the market that we have right now rather just looking at the so-called market look i think the the, the 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 questions in here we're trying to get everybody is to have a wider perspective right you can see up 17 percent in here and nasdaq is the one powering so you can look from here the yearly returns all right so remember right we are educated here so we want to you know take the sort of the advice that we are able to have some sort of control in our destiny all right of the market so okay so that's why we have VSA 60 are uh, very, very powerful to show you where the market is leading and how you are able to get more out from your investment in here all right so let's look at the the others which is the uh so-called our uh, alarm in here which is our so so far we had hex uh hex care turn green pentagon uh busa is red oh uh, yep uh, zoom has turned green uh, google amazon so uh, that goes up turn green pentagon so that's why i talk about the kenangan uh, microsoft turn green pentagon so which does means eventually some of these will start to turn green pentagon in here so this is actually a very very good way of uh, looking into the market and to see possibility uh, where is likelihood you want to be uh, looking and to help you uh, to at least put in the right sector yeah you don't know what i mean okay so uh i think uh Kosan has started to turn green pentagon but that which was about two days ago all right you can check out Kosan on your own use smart roby or use the apps that yeah that you have or the vsa 360 and you'll get that too so it's it's a good gauge i uh, haven't again i haven't put uh, my gambunda has turned red pentagon in here so the construction has started to uh, turn uh into the red pentagon in here so Busa, we can also check out some of these uh, other individual stocks. And also don't forget, uh, uh, my senior trainer, Zach, will be doing a, a, a short course, which is on the 20th and 21st uh, next week. All right. It's a very low cost entry, a very minimum charge in there. But you got a chance to use the VSA 360, the plugin in here. So take, no, uh, take this advantage in here for small fee and you're able to do some of this and also get well educated with our team. And I do think that at some point, this will eventually turn green Pentagon in here. All right. So that's the uh, so-called the statistic. And of course, 
Last week, those uh, who have gone in for the Air Asia and the Green Pentagon, that one has moved a bit, uh, Volcano, uh, Gentayu, and Vis Dynamic in here. So there will be some of these, what we call uh, uh, outlier stocks that actually move ahead with the economy uh, reopening in here. It's just that whether you were in position to collect some of these uh, nice Green Pentagon that pick up in here. And of course, uh, we have seen the market test lower right and test lower breaking into the below one four level one eight uh, one three eight oh level here right so the one three eight level in here and this morning we have seen the market rebound and just to recap what we have seen before and in the market conception in here we usually look for this uh, green pentagon when the market is red and now right now is already red pentagon so we have to look for the green pentagon but right now in the shorter term from the conceptual map, we are looking for climatic action, right? We want to see climatic action, lots of volume there, and then we'll see a reversal uh, likelihood. So we don't see that yet, so we haven't. If you look at the US side, they were stopped at the good support, which is a 200-day moving average on the NASDAQ, but for the uh, Dow Jones, it's broken through. So right now, uh, we are still in the stage four, so you can check out this in here, and you can see from this market, since the uh, red Pentagon in here, the market continued to fall and fall and fall, which is, in my opinion, not a very great thing, all right? And uh, it did build uh, a base at 1380 and holding back. So we want to see a bit more volume coming in and then it start to move sideways and then we get some sort of three-bay rebound in here. It will come, right? It's either this week or, or this this week or, or next week, all right? Or maybe end of today, depending how the market is. But uh, one thing for sure, the market is down due to the <coughs> U.S. banking stock fallout and also the market interest rate uh, hike news, which is actually on the 21st, 22nd of March in here. So watch out for that. And now on the VSA 360, a uh, couple of important things to keep note of is that we have a red pentagon uh, since for 45 bars. Okay, 45 bar and in the... Uh, VSA 360 plug-in, you can see that's about 45, uh, 45 days actually, 45 days and 31 bars here, 45 days in here, not not uh, bars inside. And, and the last time that we had was previously, was actually, uh, let me just make amendment here. All right, uh, was a 48 days, so we are very close to this because I do believe uh, sometimes the market do move in some sort of a period in here. So in August last year, right, when we had that red pentagon, it was 48 days. So right now, 45 days. So coming soon, it is, as I said before, next week or this week, we're going to see that market rebound because it's like a rubber band, you know. It can't, can't snap off because there's still fundamental uh, uh, exist in the market, what they did, it is. I know there's a lot of fear and a lot of selling. And once those sellers has been removed, then you'll see this market rebound back in here. So look out for the KLCI SOS, right? Let me just move our site here and you can see the SOS will be coming soon. So just wait for it in here, wait for that red Pentagon in here. This market will rebound. Now, and of course, many of our intraday alerts, uh, trades will not be worked out. Even if you bought it, a lot of them just gaps up to distribute in here. But this morning, uh, we have uh, one green Pentagon, which is Falco. We can take a look at Falco right now. So this morning in here, Falco, uh, it's uh, one of those shares that which actually had a little bit of news coming in here. Yesterday was a good one. You had a nice move, but this morning hits up, looks like distribution flow right now is an uptrust. So we have to see. Usually if it's uptrust, then the market just moved a couple of days. And then if it is ready to go higher, it will move higher in here. So Falco, one of those stocks. This last year was down 25%. So this year is up 10%. And let's see whether this uh, stocks has a bit more room. There were a couple of news. We just have to wait for this. Uh, back two contracts. That's right. The two contracts were deemed on the 15th of March inside here. And uh, that's that's why uh, they, they always get contracts, right? Uh, as you can see from news. So that's why the... Uh, yeah. Let's look at insider buying. Uh, they were buying some back at in around 170. So right now, there were just one selling in the 100K there were about 1.6 million Muhiba banks are buying a lot. Okay, so check it out. So switch over to the one month chart and then just want to scroll this and you can see this is where the buying is. Okay, but of course we will be looking at a couple of stocks uh, later on that have some sort of buy uh, manner for that one. 
Sony Falco, the others OTUT, we will cover it part of our members in here. And uh, also insider buying and selling. Now, a, a famous quote that was made by Mr. Peter Lynch, look into why insider buying. And if you do buy that, you can make abnormal return in here up to 114 days. And of course, our VSA 360 has this element, uh, buy call, sell call by analysts. And also, right, so you can see whether the analyst is part of the ecosystem where actually push the price down or push the price down off in here. So of course, some of those stocks we still need the market setup in here as you can see in here for uh, CY Park one of the case study you done you can able to hit 150 percent and also for Toyo Wen uh, similarly and so you want to have the kind of stage one accumulation and when you buy just because uh, insider are buying and you may end up buying high so you don't want to do that you still want to have that kind of market support to give you uh, so let's take a look at the, this week now last week we have Pelican uh, uh, sharing it on the 3rd of March and you have seen this market in here, uh, some buying in here. Did it happen to go higher? So we can check it out. There is still continuous buying in the VSA 360. So you can see from here, those of you who don't have it, check it out on the Pelican chart. And uh, let me just show you what I mean here. So this is very similar. So you can put on Pelican. <coughs> All right. And uh, it's, it does give you a rated 4 with a P. It doesn't pay any dividend. You can see, right? Uh, there's two buying 80k and uh, 185k. Mr. Louis, Mr. Louis is who is Mr. Louis? Mr. Lou is oh Swift Hall H. So some big shot fella buying uh, uh, This guy has been continuing to buy 2.5 million, and uh, that's why Pelican continue to go up. Okay, so you still need to wait for that kind of stage one uh, if you want to be buying right. Uh, learn your. Uh, uh, Learn it well, learn part of the setup in here. Just don't buy because the person is buying, but it does support your decision if you want to take a look at this one here. So that's uh, Pelican in here. Next, we have PRG. Now remember, right? Last week, can it go higher? And we have three sell here. And of course, when you have sell and with the background that we are seeing, the KLCI, uh, the market uh, drop back up. But guess what? <laughs> After the selling of the Red Pentagon, huh? We have another buying. So let's take a look at uh, who is buying right now for PRG. So PRG here. So PRG who is buying. Let's take a look. And uh, oh, 100K by another Datuk Maslan. This name keeps appearing. I see his name a lot. It's one of those fellow who buy a lot. Okay, so let's go back to nine months. And uh, oh, same thing, he bought 300k, he decided to buy now. And okay, next week, we'll come and check it out whether these stocks uh, will build a nice base here. It did go up, push back. Again, this is penny stocks, uh, uh, 24 cents. Very fast go up, very fast come down. So right, it's a lot of volatility in here. And uh, there's no guarantee, okay? So uh, previously, we were looking at NGGB. Lots of buying in here. And uh, can it go higher? So NGGB finally on the backdrop of uh, what we have seen with the KLCI and then the market started to turn down then we have a red pentagon in here and uh, so new chart now all right so I'm going to share with you in here uh, something we have found out for our members and also those of you who came in this morning is PP Jack okay so PP Jack uh, lots of buying in here you could see 4 million Madam Lim Madam Lim uh, Madam Lim wow, 3.4 million uh what else 207 million oh, all the lim family buying uh, lim Bo lim bun hua right uh madam lim kui lan so you can see a lot of lim lim buying lah. so will this stock hold its ground uh, uh, for pp jack and let's take a look at this chart in here still range building in here it's not going to go anywhere to be frank with you it's just this period of you know, long-term accumulation in here. Pay any dividend, not f uh, no dividend. So just kind of be careful in here. So it doesn't pay any dividend. You don't want to be holding on. But kind of interesting to see, you know, uh, this kind of stocks are uh, been uh, bought in by the family members in here. So they do think that it's a value around the 50, 53 cents in here for PP Jack. And uh, next one is RC Capital. All right, RC Capital is one of my favorite stocks in. Let's take a look at RC Capital. All right, so RC Capital, there are lots more of these uh, stocks 
And you can see lots of buying by Tan Sri lah. Tan Sri Asman Hashim in here. 59k, 54k, Chempaka. I think that's his family member. Banyak lah. Huh? Banyak, banyak. So you look at the chart wise. It is, will, hopefully, uh, hopefully it will hold at this range around the 160. But it does pay a good 12% dividend. So out of those two, this is the one that i more likely to buying in here. Uh, with that, it's broken up in here. Maybe you want to wait for a lot of uh, this morning. There was a sell-off and then uh, probably somebody bought in here. Okay, so those are the two interesting stocks. Uh, we do see evidence of insider buying. Only with VSA 360, you can do that. And of course, uh, always our focus been in to our members in here. And if you have joined us, our VSA 360, you have noted our transformation. Uh, we did hit our first orientation. So we are starting our first month, second month, and third month. You can see we have a whole list of activities where we put out for our members to go through it. So this is a self e-learning calendar that you can see. We have weekly of activity, first month, second month, and third month. So if you have joined us, make sure make sure you are following these activities uh, so you will be eventually in the three months you're well rounded up to become a very effective after all you have put in your money right into the investment in yourself and why not take up the self e-learning to our vsa 360 and what better way to start off with uh, our senior trainer zach doing his first uh, uh early entry easy entry into the vsa harnessing the power volume spread analysis if you have not done it yet uh, make sure you sign up for the 2020 verse for low base start at 8 to 10 30 this evening and of course many of you here want to try out our vsa 360 alert sign up for a 10 day free trial uh, in here and if you're not wait if you're not then go for our system in here thank you for those of you who continue to give us review in here and of course uh, right now we'll be looking at a couple of stocks yeah, Nolan is also asking, who is Datuk Maslan? I also don't know. You can Google that. So once you get in, uh, Nora, click on uh, Datuk Maslan. So check out what this person do. All right. Uh, I saw very funny. So sometimes I need to find. So if you have any stock that you want me to take a look, just pencil those in there. Happy to look in there. Thank you, Nora, for sharing uh, your friends and in here. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For those of you who are first time, take a look at the YouTube channel on the Rakuten trade that I did last night with the uh, on the US market using Smart Ruby. That will give you a lot of good insight. All right, let's look at the Cellcom. Yep, sure. Uh, look here, CDB, Cellcom DG. Now, Cellcom is not so much of a trading stock. It is a fundamental stock, as I said before. You got a lot, lot of EPF buying, a lot of selling. Turn red Pentagon already. So let's. Uh, it does pay a good, decent, uh, uh, three percent dividend. So again, uh, this is a stock. Okay, let's put it CDB or CBD. Okay, Cellcom uh, here. So this stock, right? It's going to be hovering in here. So right now is where it is. It's not going to go down that much. As I said before, it's a real dividend stock. You can pick it up in here, but you want to be buying uh, when the market really falls to a, a level in here. And I do think that much of this are actually going on the 5G infrastructure in here. Good stocks, a good fundamental stock. Okay, we got MicroLin. All right, MicroLin here. Now, MicroLean is uh, uh, it's a tech stocks. It's one of those uh, uh, technology stocks. There are a couple of sellings in here, but I do like it. You have a green pentagon, 84 cents, some buying, 94 cents. Oh, another Maslan again. Uh. Oh, this fellow a lot. Uh. No wonder you asked, uh, Nora. Huh? Uh, then uh, RSP Strassi sold 9.2 million, and uh, he bought another 50K. All right. Uh, uh, Nizam Abdul Raza. Oh, that's, that Mohamed Nizam, is that, is that uh, uh, Najib Sun? Uh? Maybe Najib Sun, I think this one. Okay, click on that one and then check it out. Oh yeah, yeah, this one big brother. Uh Debunya Abang. 59, uh, Najib. Okay. So this Maslan maybe, you know, one of the soul those circles in here. Uh, find out more about him. But stocks wise pretty good. Uh, oh Najib sibling. Yep, yep, that's right. Yeah, one one of the Najib siblings inside here. I think fundamentally this company is not too bad, huh? Uh ROE eleven percent. What do they do? Uh, that's that's the question. So I just mouse over here. Or computer software for banking sector okay uh, for banking sector in here so no wonder okay so they back another contract from lpps or which is why the stocks is moving up uh, uh, so vietnam aqua one huawei so a lot of these projects are ramli abdullah 
So I be careful about this kind of software company. But overall, if you had it back in uh, you know in 2007, if you hold it, this is not too bad. Huh? Uh, the big seller that we see in February was uh, foreign funds leaving. Now, right now, they are bagging in contracts in here. All right. So overall, let's see foreign fund. Oh, lots of buying in here. So that's definitely good. So at this level, actually not too bad. You can see, of course, if I can bag it around the uh, 66 cents in here, a lot of foreign funds are buying in here. And you can see this uh, Datuk Maslan, uh, uh, Bin Lazim. He's been buying a lot. So check him out. All right. That's all I have. Thank you for your support. Thank you, Nora. Thank you for your... And don't forget to subscribe to our Dalingam chat room and share that with your friends so they can get updated every morning. That's all we have. And I'll see you on Monday for Breakfast Show with Smart Robbie. Thank you again.